if we look at the Bitcoin graph, uh, it's it's going wild and uh, it's forming what looks like a rising wedge pattern. And for those of you who don't know what a rising wedge pattern, uh, here's an example. Uh, now, uh, such patterns actually break down most 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 of the time. And so uh, this week is going to be a scary week for, for longs, uh, or maybe next week, because I think uh, if you look back here, we actually might see a, um, a 64K Bitcoin before a potential breakdown. My idea here is that we could get rejected off the 64 top right here all the way down to 58K, maybe, maybe even more. P.S. Crypto here. Thank you for joining me. Hello, everyone. Hello, Bitcoin family. Uh, well, you saw in that introduction what's happening right now with Bitcoin uh, is not a surprise to me. Uh, I already posted two videos expecting this dip. Uh, I actually expected it much sooner. But uh, it's here and we were prepared for it. Uh, it was inevitable. Inevitable. It's uh, looking pretty shaky right now, and it's at the brink of collapse from this support line right here. This is a daily candle, and if this daily candle right here holds and closes above this yellow support line, that's a good signal, right? But if it closes like this, it means it broke support and we're looking potentially at a drop to the MA25, uh, excuse me, MA99, which if you heard in my previous video, we haven't touched this since way back in October of 2020. That's a record by like two months. Uh, that's unprecedented for Bitcoin. So we have to touch it. Right. And, and that's what drove me to chart bearish scenarios, because uh, we haven't had a healthy correction in a while. And if we do come down to this level and potentially even lower, which I don't think will come, will go lower. But if we do close below this, then we're looking officially at a bear market officially. And what you'll see is a new consolidation pattern that will probably be something like, well, let's draw, I hate these things. Boom. Let's just go straight to the, you see a color here. All right. And if we do come down, which I think we will come down to this, this is 48K. And, and break this, right? I think we'll start to see a new consolidation pattern that would eventually even get take us even lower. Maybe 30K level. This is the bear scenario. And you have to be prepared for this, right? You have to be prepared for all this right here uh, as a reality. The other scenario, obviously, would be for us to close above this support right here and continue on up, right? But eventually, we have to come down. We have to we have to touch this MA99, this moving average. It's a mess that I drew up up here. This is a big mess. Uh, right now, I wouldn't touch the market if you're trading, whether you're shorting, you're longing, you have to wait for a clear signal as to what this is going to do right here. Um, if we look on the uh, weekly chart. So, yeah, next level of support, we're looking at 48, like we mentioned, and we're looking at 33K. We don't want to talk about that right there. Looking at the, going back to the daily. What a mess. My wife is calling me. 
Hello? Good, good. How are you? I'm doing a YouTube video. Yeah, no, our life savings are just fine. Absolutely. No. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to buy that apartment for sure. We're going to buy the apartment. Oh, yeah. Don't worry. I'm in tether. Okay, baby, no problem. Okay, sweetie. Don't worry. All right, bye bye. Okay. Well, I'm not completely in tether, so I did get wrecked. But that's because I took a chance with some altcoins that were looking very, very good. Oh, okay. Well, what do you think of this? What do you think is going to happen next? Uh, this line is supposed to be like this, maybe. Well, you know. Anyways, not the best video you've seen on Bitcoin. Let me know what you think. Okay? If you like, subscribe for more hideous analysis. Thank you for watching. Bye.